In 1987, Prince Edward persuaded members of the royal family to take part in the Grand Knockout, now popularly known as It's a Royal Knockout. Princess Edward and Andrew joined Princess Anne and Sarah Ferguson in dressing up and mucking about with a motley selection of stars from stage and screen. Stars including Meat Loaf, Anthony Andrews, Kevin Kline, Mel Smith, Billy Connolly and George Lazandi all took part. Although the program was not received well and was criticized for a number of reasons and the event raised over £1 million for the charities represented. Yet, for all the money raised and all Edward's undoubted commitment to raising it, the lingering feeling is one of incredulity blended in equal measure with embarrassment, writes Ingrid Seward in Prince Edward, a biography. The book, published in 1995, claims that the Queen Mother was most upset at this disastrous program. She was upset that the royal family had involved themselves in that hour-long exercise in televised kitsch. Ms. Seward said she has a tendency to position herself well above the irritations of everyday life. The Queen's former private secretary Lord Charteris once remarked, what she doesn't want to see, she doesn't look at. However, according to Ms. Seward, the Queen Mother could hardly ignore this. She had witnessed Edward V's abdication and seen the damage that had done to the monarchy. The Queen Mother dedicated herself to helping her husband, King George VI, rebuild its reputation and did not want to see her life's work undermined. Queen Elizabeth II echoed her mother's opinion. Ms. Seward said the Queen did not appreciate the sight of the Duke of York grinning inanely. His wife Virgie rushing around waving her arms like a footballer who had just scored a goal. and her youngest son Prince Edward dressed as a joker with a yellow plumed hat which made him look, as the Times drolly remarked, like one of Shakespeare's lesser jesters. The biography also suggests that this is not the way most people in Britain wish to see the royal family behave. Michael Mann, former Dean of Windsor, Said in the book, for the best reasons in the world, the younger members of the monarchy wanted to make the royal family more approachable and more with it.